Hi now besties, so we're going to be doing something totally different on the channel. We're going to be doing an acrylic fill-in. No, the original work is not my work, but I do not mind working over other people's work. And I do not do people's nails, just so we, you know, verify that. <laughs> but um, this is my neighbor, and she does lashes. And I'm thinking about getting back into doing people's nails, so I'm just running a trial with her. This is like my second time doing her nails. And it's kind of hard for me to feel like I want to get back in the field. So I'm not really sure. So what you see me doing is at first I was just removing her charms. And when you're removing the charms, you want to hold down the base of the nail and then remove the charms gently like that. And what I'm doing now is I'm just basically using my 5-in-1 drill bit and I'm debulking the nail, removing the gel polish. And you don't want to file the nail down too, too thin, but you want to file it down enough to where it's thin enough so that way you can do the fill-in and be able to give, continue to give the structure pertaining to the nail. So I'm going to basically debulk all of the nails and I'll be right back. I get real accountable when I'm alone. I get real about it all when I'm alone. It's so crazy missing you when I get on. Now Julio make me fool for you. Now I might hit your phone up with that ba ba ba. Who's my da da da? Who's my da da da? All of this love is toxic. All of this love is toxic. All these kisses and hugs and knock shit. You a damn drug. So now I'm using a pointed cone drill bit. To push back the cuticles and to go ahead and remove any excess dead skin that is on the nail. So that way I can go ahead and start with the prepping. I'm so sorry that my angles in this video is not all that good. Like I said, I am basically learning how to do other people's nails again on camera. Like since I've been doing my own nails on camera for a while. So just trying to make sure I'm in frame was my main goal. But I want to make sure I get different angles as well. Going in with my 180-100-100 grit file, I'm just going to go ahead and shape up the nails. And you just want to gently shape them because you are already going to have to reshape them again when you are filing the nails. But making sure that the shape before you apply acrylic on it is really good. That way you can have to do less filing. So just make sure you do sidewall to sidewall and make sure you're not over filing the nails. So now that I'm done prepping the nail, I'm going to go ahead and start applying the acrylic to the nail. Since this is a fill-in, I will not need a lot of acrylic to go ahead and apply to the nail. I'm basically just filling in the cuticle area, but making sure that the structure of the nail is still there. So what you see me doing here is I'm basically pushing up. The acrylic towards the cuticle just make sure, making sure I'm getting that nice tight and flush to prevent lifting and then I'm going to go ahead and use the body of my brush to mold the acrylic down towards the tip of the nail and I'm going to basically do this for all 10 nails I know doing fillings can kind of be intimidating some people actually call these back fills but you know some people call them fillings 
But I know doing feelings can be kind of intimidating a little bit, especially when you're starting out and you don't really know what to do. But that's why we make videos and things of that nature. And this is why practice is perfect. You can always get someone that you can just practice on. Or even, you know, you can practice on yourself let your nails grow out and practice the feelings yourself. That way you can get good at it. I used to be the nail tech, which I'm not the only nail tech that's done this. A lot of nail techs done this. I don't work with other people's work. I don't do fill-ins. Bare nails only. Do you not know how much money we lost out on? Just admit, I had so many people when I started, when I was doing nails for clients, I had so many people that inboxed me asking me, do I do fill-ins? I turned down so many people because I was like, no, I don't do fill-ins. But overall, the reality is some people that come to you, they already have their nails done. They're looking for a new nail tech or they're looking for someone to, you know what I'm saying, to try out pertaining to that. I call those chair hoppers. Chair hoppers is people that don't have like one nail tech. They go to any anybody, everybody and things of that nature. But I'm telling you. It's definitely imperative at, in your career to do fill-ins because people, some people already had their nails done. Uh, but I get why folks don't like working over other people's work. One, especially the working over nail salon work, and, you know, they use MMA. Is that right? Or is it EMA? They use, they use dental acrylic. That's what I'm saying. I really can't remember... Which one it is? It's early in the morning. I'm trying to do this voiceover. They use dental acrylic on the nail, and then we actually are using actual acrylic monomer liquid on the nail. So I get that to the extent on why people don't like working over like other folks' work because you just never know what someone used. But as long as you're doing your part, their nails will turn out right. You see how I'm just basically pushing up, pushing it up towards the cuticle and tucking it in tightly. That's how you're going to prevent lifting and also keeping, keeping the nail downward. You see like how I have the nail like downward. That's going to prevent the acrylic from flooding the cuticle area. Now, if the acrylic does flood the cuticle area, all you need to do is just get your brush, wipe around it retuck it in and move on okay a lot of people shoot even i've been doing nails for a while sometimes i still accidentally flood people's cuticles it's going to happen it's okay sometimes the sometimes the client is moving sometimes you picked up a bigger bee or a wetter bee that you didn't think you picked up it's totally normal it's totally fine just clean the cuticle area up make sure there's no acrylic on the skin and retuck that cuticle in and go on about your day. But yeah, just basically lean the nail downward so you can go ahead and make sure that you are tucking in the acrylic nicely to prevent that lifting. See what I'm doing here? I'm just using the tip of the brush to wipe around the nail and I'm just gonna retuck that cuticle right on back in. When you're up when you are doing the cuticle work, you don't want to add the acrylic on top of the cuticle area. You want to add it like, I would say an inch above the cuticle area. And then you want to push the acrylic towards the cuticle area. Cause girls is players too. Yeah. Cause girls is players too. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Cause girls is players too.
This is the application of the fill-in. So we're going to go ahead and move into the filing of the nail. And you just want to make sure that you are filing the sidewalls evenly, not over filing on one side. And I'm going to basically do this for all 10 nails. I don't really need to do like a lot of filing for this nail set, but I still wanted to make sure I'm giving it like a nice shape just because I am going to be painting on top of it. Trying to talk in a strip club Shout a silhouette look like a dollar sign Cock got up That's just how a nigga brought her up Blow ones for your loony ass niggas Straight bells for your loony ass niggas My niggas With my 5-in-1 panda drill bit I'm just gonna go ahead and start Sealing in the cuticle area of the nail To make sure there's just no acrylic on the skin And sealing in the nail is basically you finishing out the nail process. So this is basically like the last part pertaining to the drill bits that I'll be doing. I'm basically just using this drill bit to seal in the acrylic to the nail to, to give it more of a flush of a natural look. You know, you want to make your nails look like they're coming, they're growing out of your, growing out the skin if that makes sense. You know, you don't want people to walk around looking like they have on false nails, even though they do. But you want to make them as natural as possible. And now I'm just basically, you know, filing over the nail, making sure there's no lumps. Also, if you are a beginner, I would definitely say make sure you check the side profiles of the nail to make sure there is no dips or lumps in there before you do start filing on top of it just to be on the safe side because you need to go back in and put a little bit of acrylic on the nail then that's totally fine but definitely make sure you're checking all the side profiles of the nails when you are doing the nails to to check for any dips inside of the nails <laughs> a little bit of cuticle oil and I'm using my buffer and I'm just basically going to buff any scratches out the nail. I actually like this method a little bit better than just buffing it just regularly. I like the oil because honestly when it when it's done when this process is done here I make my client go wash their hands. So it works out perfectly. Now I'm going to help my beauty gel polish and I'm going to go ahead and start painting the nail. The pinky nail I'm actually going to do a French tip 
Yo, I was so intimidated trying to do a French tip on the short nail. Like, oh my gosh, please turn it right, please turn it right, please turn it right. But sometimes I be psyching myself out. I be overthinking it. It turned out totally fine, literally. And I just basically just made her turn her hand around. That part is not on camera. I made her turn her hand around just so I can make sure that the French tip is even and that it's giving crisp. You feel me? Then I'm going to go in with some little mini squiggly lines because we're doing cow print. So I'm going to go in with some squiggly lines and shade those in. Now, our favorite, both of our favorite nail was literally the index. And you guys are definitely going to see why the index was our favorite nail. Even these took me like three hours. Like I was just like, if I, if I do, if I stop back doing clients nails again, I got to pick up my speed. Like, seriously, I haven't did people nails in a while. And I told her I want her to, um, I asked her, can I do her nails and stuff for content? Because at first she booked me in general. So now we do trade for trade services and we just tip each other for the service because she does lashes and I look at my lashes done. So we just been doing trade for trade services. And she always like try to support me and be like, I really think you should do nails. You're really great nail tech. And things like that. Like, she definitely, you know, speaks life to me. And I appreciate that. But I just be like, girl, look at how long it took me to do your nails. Like, this here should have took an hour and a half. To do a fill-in shouldn't even take that long. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think they say you should do a fill-in like 30, 40 minutes. And then the design shouldn't take that long. But the whole nail set took me three hours, y'all. Three but it's all good. Though. I'm not being hard on myself. Like I said, I haven't did people's nails in forever. So I'm just basically trying to get my feet wet. If I do decide to take clients again, you know, just to see like my speed and things I can work on in that nature. So I'm basically just starting from semi scratch, not really more so scratch, but basically semi scratching, starting over to just, you know, see about like my speed and things of that nature and get the help I need pretending to being faster so that's why i appreciate her letting me make content and things like that on her nails because she don't have to but she is allowing that and i appreciate that so look at this index i just love the little swirl like ugh, it's giving ice cream but i really like this index finger i feel like i could do like i love nail art on nails that's like intricate that's different and we was literally like, oh, my God, in awe with this design. This design turned out so cute. And her son's birthday was just yesterday. We went to the park and stuff. And I was looking at her nails. I'm like, dang, I did a good ass job. <laughs> I was like, look at those nails. Some things are fire. Like, let me hype myself up real quick. You hear me? <laughs> but now we're going to move into the cow print. And you just want to basically have fun with this here. It's not nothing serious to like overthink. It's just basically lines and dots on the nail. Just, you know, a little mini squiggly, little mini squiggly circles. Not like a full on circle. All of them aren't going to be perfect circles. They're going to be like little full on like semi circles. So, yeah, you just want to make sure you have fun with this. And we're moving towards the end of the video. So, thank you all so much for tuning into the channel. Look at me coming back to back with the videos. <laughs> like the video guys yeah, I did a good job on my last video y'all like my last video I appreciate that but um no seriously thank y'all so much for tuning into the channel I really appreciate it I'm trying to get my watch hours up you hear me like I have major goals in this fourth quarter and I'm just choosing not to let myself down like there's just no way around it ain't no way around it y'all remember that song about future but um yeah this is the finished look and i hope everyone enjoyed the rest of their week stay stay safe out here in these streets 
enjoy all the nail videos that are coming and we're moving into the halloween sets so let's get into it bye guys